Hello, my name is Kate Stewart. I'm one of the chairs of the NTIA Formats and Tooling Working Group. And I'm here to give you a bit of a quick overview as to what we're up to these days in this group. Um, coming up from phase one, we identified the need for being able to document what the existing tooling is to support um, the generation of software bill of materials. We wanted to be able to identify what the tooling gaps were. Um, we also wanted to be able to document processes for people to use these tools as well as see if we can find some turnkey tools to help um, convert between different formats and have some sort of universal translation tools. So we've been working on this um, since phase one wrapped up. And also what's been happening in parallel is the healthcare proof of concept has been trying to use these tools and has also made it clear, help fill requirements in for us and made it clear that they also needed to see some reference examples for both all SWIDs, SPDX, and Cyclone DX. So right now the Formats and Tooling Working Group is addressing these items. And what we're going to start with is the taxonomy that we've been using for classifying tools. This came about um, fairly early on in the process and has been refined as we've been looking at tools being added. Um, the tools um, can be broken down into, you, do, you um, are using the tool during a build process be it a compile and linking step or a um, building of a container or a product or some sort of assembly. Um, if you can generate the SBOM at that point in time, that's gonna have the highest degree of confidence. Um, other mechanisms that are being used or off authoring it after the tools uh, product's been created. Here you're looking at doing something with a manual um, effort where someone's filling in the minimum information just so that it can work with the system. And there's also some sorts of code analysis or SCA tools that are able to do an analysis and fill in the information. The other category that's there is consume. And this is where you want to be able to view the contents of the software bill of materials and use it to support decision making. You may want to do a diff and compare different SBOMs so that you can see clearly where they change between two or what's happened over time. And the third category of consuming things is you want to do some analysis and you want to be able to compare it with different documents or different data. So those are the three first ones. And then the transform is the other category that we've come up with that seems to be needed where you need to be able to translate between one format and another, sort of like that universal tool. You maybe want to merge multiple SBOM documents together to pull together for a full product that's made of multiple subcomponents. And the other classification of tooling is things like libraries and APIs where you want to use those in a, your own tools to be able to read and write the documents efficiently and effectively. So these are the basic taxonomy we worked on. And then what we've been looking at is the information you need to collect for tools. And we came up with a template uh, that we've been working with and it seems to be catching things so far. Uh, what you want to know is what type of uh, functions does that tool provide? And that's under the support. And that's using the taxonomy that we just went through. What's the functionality of the tool itself? Where can you find it? How do you install it? How do you use it? And then some of these specifications are different versions. So which versions are supported? So the group has also been working on creating these um, tooling surveys for each of the different file formats. And there's a document now for each format, which has the tools listed. And we've done the work in the taxonomy um, that you've seen on the prior slide. Um, SWID is there and Charles Smith is on point for curating that content. I'm working on the SPDX one. And then Steve Springett is working on Cyclone DX. So if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to us individually or just put a comment in the document. Um, just like to conclude by if you've got any feedback, um, we definitely will welcome it. If you know of a use case we can't capture with the taxonomy I went through, please send this email to the mail list. And if you know of a tool that we should be able to add to each ecosystem, one of the ecosystems, um, the links are here. And just click on that link and add your comments in and hopefully we'll get that tool added. And so with that, thank you very much. And if you've got general questions, by all means, just mail, mail to the email list.